All right, guys, so we are going to see targets now. So every time I explain this, there's always controversy. This is not a pressure point. This is actually, well, you can use it as a pressure point, but it's like you're not knocking anybody out with using that, right? The purpose of this is to either opening a door for something else that you're gonna do in the future or to cause some damage. But again, keep in mind that the damage might be minimal. But again, it's still interesting to have some targets to you know specific places that you want to hit. So first one that we we'll encounter is going to be the 45 degrees down that we have here on uh, the uh, kind of like the line of flexion of uh, the elbow, three fingers below the line of flexion towards the wrist. That's where you encounter. It's going to be 45 degrees downwards. And of course, you're not going to be able to calculate every single time. But after a while, you get used to do uh, punch. It's kind of like intuitive. You're going to go straight 45 degrees. Now, look at what happens. In this case, you're kind of opening uh, this door, as I was saying before, for something else. Obviously, you have to take into account that's the way that you practice in the beginning, but the other person has another hand. So when you do this, the other person is going to punch you in the face. So you cannot just rely on that. You can rely if you mind that, and then you kind of like lean backwards as a way for you to hit and then just kind of like lean back. That's a way of dealing with that. But I actually prefer to do it against a job and a cross, one and two, particular when I took care of the first hand by doing the shield, which is something that we will discuss in a different you know, class. We will see if we, if we can incorporate that. So again, this here and then this right after. So the idea is to incorporate it after you have taken care of that because it's a little bit more realistic. But again, this is just to make the other person regret having punched you, but that's it. It's not, it doesn't have any other purpose. And obviously, if that can cause a lot of pain, if you move towards the side, you can actually make it a little more realistic because now it's gonna be more difficult for the other person to turn and punch you because they're still not enough range. Yes, a person can turn and still follow you, but you have moved far enough for you to then move more if you need it, okay? So again, that's the first point that we're gonna see, 45 degrees downwards, this is the important part. We wanna see the second one in, in a second, but practice that and let me know if you have any questions, okay? Thank you, Ush. All right guys, so the second one, the second one is going to be on the bicep. And that's gonna be the head of the bicep, the middle is gonna be uh, towards the back of the person. And this is the key. Yes, you're gonna be doing a hammer, the same way that you were doing before, but make sure that in this case, it's gonna be towards the back of the person. You're not gonna go 45 degrees. It's gonna be rather 40, uh, straight towards the back of the person. As you can see, I'm kind of moving my head. Always try to move your head out of range. Don't try to just rely on this. This is not going, this might not be enough. You still might redirect the person, but still get punched on the side of the head. So you don't want that. So just move out of the way and press going forward, 45, uh, straight towards the back, not 45 degrees downward. And as I said before, it's always better when you use it against a jab and a cross, right? But right now, we're just going to strictly work on that. Now notice one thing, this is the thing that I wanted to uh, reinforce. When I go towards the back of the person, there's an opening wider than what it happens before. Obviously you can continue in this direction, but sometimes you're gonna use that in combination of this and covering and hit that area with the other punch, right? Keep in mind that what is interesting about the gaps, uh, that you're, or the targets that you're using is that you want to create a door for something else, which is the main purpose of using the targets, nothing else, okay? All right, guys, so uh, the third one is probably going to be the most painful one. So let's actually go in this direction so everyone can see because we want to do it from that side. Uh, in this case, same beginning. I'm going to parry and I'm going to move out of the way. That's important. So don't neglect that head movement. Otherwise, you still might get uh, hit in the face. But now I'm going to use between... You can actually use it uh, like this. You can do like a, um, like a European hook in which you're gonna be doing like this and not like this. That's okay. Uh, but I, I would advise you in the beginning to either do a slightly move, uh, rotational move so you don't end up hitting with the knuckles or with the palm. Now, because I'm gonna show you where this is targeting and that's the reason why you're gonna be careful. Three fingers above the line of flexion in between the bicep and the tricep. And there is a nerve there. And when you actually hit, you actually might make uh, contact with that nerve. So it's gonna be very painful. So to avoid being uncomfortable by hitting all the time the same spot, again, as I said before, you can use the palm going all the way through, or you can use this little rotation. That's okay for training. Keep in mind that if you have to do it for real, it will be like this, as if you're gonna hook it. It's actually not a C, it's like you're going to hook it. So it's gonna be this, right? So move your head out of the way. And the beautiful of this is not only that it's going to flex the hand in that position, I want you to see what's happening here. That is now open and then you can use as a way for you to attack that area. 
But the idea that when you do that, the pain is going to, again, move the hand probably towards that side, freeing all of this side, not only the head anymore, but you can also use this lower part. Sometimes it's gonna be here and then you can attack the lower part right away. Sometimes you can even come here, block, just in case, and punch. And that is another option. Be mindful of the other person's movement as well. So if these fail, for whatever reason, the person cover, don't attempt to do this because you're gonna end up hitting uh, the elbow with your own hand. So that's gonna be very painful. So again, you have to be mindful of that. Ideally, what you're gonna create is enough rotation so the person turns towards the other side and that's what you're looking for, right? And after that, you can talk about everything else, but right now, we're just gonna go there. So again, the third spot is gonna be between the bicep and the tricep, okay? Let's try that, okay, ready, Wish. <laughs> 